Good morning, Pastor Kurt here, and I got a question for you. Have you ever had a teacher that you really connected with? For me, it was Dr. Legree. He was a chemistry prof at the university I went to. Now, I didn't think I was great at chemistry. I was even actually worried about getting into this class, but I ended up getting an A from him. And I took him again, got another A from him because he taught the lab before the lecture. There was something about the participation of the lab that really made the concepts easy for me to get. Most people do the opposite. They teach the lecture, and then they make you go to the lab. Dr. Legree would come into every class with all these boiling chemicals. He would call for volunteers. Someone would lose an eyebrow. I mean, it was phenomenal. You know who else taught that way? Jesus. Jesus was someone who taught in the laboratory, not the lecture hall. In John chapter 1, John makes this huge declaration. He says, guess what? Jesus is God. And then he recounts all these interactions that Jesus has with people, and he shows them what type of God he is. And it's really well, counterintuitive and fascinating and wonderful. It starts with John the Baptist. And John the Baptist says something. Right there in John 1, John says, look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. What is John saying? He's saying, Come and see this guy. you got to see him for yourself. And then later on in John 1, Jesus actually says, Come and you will see. It's an invitation to participate, to see firsthand, to not just hear about something, but to do something. And then those same disciples that heard John the Baptist say, Come and see, and then heard Jesus say, Come and see, well, guess what? One of them, Philip, went to go get his buddy, and his buddy had all sorts of questions. And what did Philip say to his buddy? You guessed it, right there in John 1, He looks right at him and says, come and see. You know who our God is? He's the come and see God. He's the God who says, I don't want you to just hear the words. I don't want to just give you a lecture. I want to have you see it for yourself, feel it, touch it, experience. This week, in all of our campuses, we're going to jump into John chapter 1 and into the come and see invitation of Jesus. And this whole series is going to be that way. I couldn't be more excited about this idea that you don't just learn intellectually, you put your hands to it. My friend, I want to tell you, there's a lot of busyness that happens over the summer, but you should commit yourself to coming and seeing what God has for you, experiencing it. Get into the laboratory of God's will and just see how he might change your life.